Welcome to the Goblin Corner, and we are prepping today. And technically by today, I mean like months ago, as this is a video of when I was prepping for my partner's birthday one shot. Um, I was using a game called Fishblade, and I wanted to, um, you know, prep a whole adventure here. And I'll, I'll tell you what, one shots I usually like to think of as an opportunity. You know, don't do any prep, do some improv, have fun with it. But I have such a love for prepping that I have a hard time not doing that sometimes. And that is what I did here. Uh, just to kind of give a description of what's going on here, the first page that you don't see me working on is my session zero where I just got uh, all the people together. I went over the rules and we made characters. And then I was just trying to write out kind of some of the ideas of what I wanted from this adventure and kind of my goal um, if you can read any of it was to do a little dungeon and so on the second page here I have like my little characters at the top aka the PCs who were playing we have Crab Rave, Omen Scarfin, and Calamari and then I start writing out my prep how I've done for sessions and also um, one shots in the past which is by doing like a beginning middle and end. Now, the way that I do this is that the beginning of this adventure was how they were getting this job, which I decided was, hey, they get hired by this guy who knows someone who has basically an undead clam that um, he wants to get killed. And so they get hired up. It was kind of like this clam bounty thing, which I had a lot of fun with. Um, and so they get hired up and then the whole middle part is, you know, off to the cave, which was where this clam bounty was going to be had. And I basically went through each of the rooms and described kind of what was in each room, the important bits. Um, there was a scientist named Long John Silver, who was um, the one who made this lich clam, um, which the clam was actually his pet clam named Chowder. Um, but then he brought it back to life and bad things happened. Um, we have a bunch of different little rooms. And like I said, I kind of wanted to do a dungeon. So this was challenging myself a bit. And when I do like this beginning, middle, end, I try to be very loose with it. And so you see at the end part, it's just me kind of describing kind of this final room and just to give me some inspiration when I'm reading off what happens in that room at the end and introduce it because I don't know how this is going to end. So I keep that very open. We have some final boss music and then I start to give myself little stat blocks and stuff. And I also make some fish spells in this because Fishblade has these things called fish spells and they're really goofy. Um, I ended up not using any of these fish spells because we ended up having a more role play based game. And so Next time, I would definitely like to get some use of them if we play something a little bit longer. But there are some really cool ones like Plasma Monolith um, Wood Chain. Like, I, I thought those would be really, really fun to play around with. Now, another thing that I decided to kind of challenge myself with this one shot was to actually draw out a map. I have a very hard time visualizing things in my head. And so as you see on kind of that first page, you see little doodles where I was kind of getting an idea of what I wanted this map to look at look like. And then I finally fully flesh it out on this piece of paper here. And I use this piece of paper as like kind of to write random stuff on. You know, I have my spells on there. I ended up, I think, using the back of it to um, figure out some of the stats and stuff that I wanted for these um, enemies in the game, which I ended up having like these um, mimicking seaweed in that kind of first main room there, which you can see me drawing out soon here. Um, and that was to like kind of grapple the characters that they had to go through this entrance in this cave. And then kind of that main area like that, the second room, I guess, that they go into um, is where Long John Silver was. And that's where they met him and actually um, glued him to the cave wall. I actually have a whole video that will come out after this of how this game actually went. So I will definitely make sure to add that. Um, and then we have the third room off to the side that was full of a bunch of bitey tadpoles. And then we have the final room, aka room four, which has our undead clam in it. And that, yeah, the clam cave map. Um, I was very proud of this. And that is how it all looked after I was done prepping. You know, a little bit of highlighter and some fun stuff like that. Um, as you can see, I kind of do these spreads for my prep like that. And I also made sure to add a cheat sheet and some other random information that I could need during the game. Um, I really like doing prep like this. I don't tend to do it all the time, but yeah. <laughs> 